Okay, we are going to do some math for fun. And here's the question. Let's say I have a number, a five-digit number. And I'm just going to write it as A, B, C, D, E. And I want all these numbers to be different, all these digits to, to be different. Okay? And then I want to multiply by the first digit, which is A. And the interesting thing happened. I want to produce a six-digit number, and they're actually all the same digits. E. So, uh, and this E are the same as this E. And this A is the same as this A. So A, B, C, D, E times A produce E, 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 E. How can we find such a combination that make this work? So if you want to try this on your own, you can just pause the video and then um, try it out on your own. And let me just say, let me just tell you guys this. Um, this question is actually one of the test questions from a fourth grade test in Taiwan. And a lot of people complain that this is such a difficult question that nobody was able to figure it out. And it was also on the news. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just going to you know, solve this uh, for fun. And if you have a better way to do it, you know, just comment it, comment um, on the video and let me know how you do it. So this is the way I, I do it. Instead of a multiplication problem, I'm going to look at this as division. I'm going to take the result which I want to produce the six E's, right? So E, 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 E. And then I will divide by the number A. And I want to get a, um, a five digit number. And these are different digits. A, B, C, D, E. So I'm going to approach it by using division instead of multi multiplication. One more thing though. One condition is going to help us. This A is the same as that A. Right? And then when you do multiplication, you first do A times E, and then you do A times this digit, A times D, and then A times C, N times B, and then A times A, right? So at the end, when you do A times A, you will put a result right here. Right? You will put a result right here. So this is where the place that you will put A squared. A times A. So this is a good hint. Because now we know, when you have A times A, when you have a square, this should be somewhat close to a two-digit number, and they are the same digit. So it can be like 33, for example. Okay. So first of all, I know my squares. I want my a square to be somewhat close to the digit ee. -E. And let me just write down the squares that we, we have. I have one square, which is 1. This is what we are looking for. One square is equal to 1. 2 square is 4, 3 square is equal to 9, 4 square is equal to 16, and then we have 5 square is equal to 25, and then right here I have 6 square is equal to 36, 7 square is 49, 8 square 64, 9 square is 81, and A is a, two, a, is a one digit number, we are not going to bother to write down 10. Okay, so what does this mean? What does this mean? So when I have A times A, I will get my you know, the beginning of the, the six digit number that I want. Let me do an example. Um, let me pick six square for example. So six square is equal to 36. So this will tell me that, well look at 36. The, uh, the next number that has, the next two digit number that has the same digits, the same digits is 44, right? 44. So this will tell me that six square is uh, six square is equal to thirty six. Will tell me that this has a possibility to produce my um, e's will be four 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 four. And I just need to check this division. I want to check this four uh, this six fours. I want to divide by six, and I want to see if I'm lucky enough to get six and four other digits that are, that are different. So I will just write down all the possibilities that I need to try. 49, the next number that has the same digits will be 55. So I need to have the complete six digits. Right? I have six fives. I need to check six fives divided by seven. And then for this one, I have 64. So I may need to check six, 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 six divided by eight. 
and for this one, I will have to check 88, right? 81, the next one will be 88, and I have 8888 um, divided by 9. So, um, let me just go from the smallest, I mean, from the largest to the smallest. For 25, I need to check the threes, right? 33s. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 divided by 5. For this one, I have 16, so I need to check 22. 2, 2, 2, 2, divide by 4. And for these numbers, uh, since they are um, single digits, so they will be you know, ones, the 11. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, divide by 3. And then for this one, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, divide by 2. And then for this one, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, divide by 3. So these are the calculations that we need to check. Right? In order for this to happen, in order for this to happen, it must happen among one of these possibilities. Okay? Because otherwise, if you are looking at either um, combination, even though you are looking at the division, um, six digit number, they are all the same digits, you have nine choices. Right? As I said, one 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 or two 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 six twos and then six threes and so on. You have 9 choices for this number. You also have 9 choices for A. If you want to try all the combinations, you will have to try 81 times. That's the worst possibility, right? 81 combinations for this. But knowing A times A, it's about A square. That A square is about EE. -E. Then we can reduce to just 9 choices. And from these 9 choices, we can further um, get rid of some of them. For example, um, the first one, for sure, it's not going to be the right answer because when you have 6, 1 divided by 1, the answer is a 6 digit number, it's a 6, 1. I'm not interested in this. For this one, 6, 1 is an odd number divided by 2. It's not even reducible, so I don't need to worry about this. This is interesting though. 6, 1s, they add up to 6. So this number, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. It's divisible by 3. Let me try if that will work out. Okay, so that's just my um, scratch paper. So let me do it. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Divide by 3. Alright, 3 goes into 11 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. And when you subtract, you get 11 minus 9, which is 2. Bring down the 1. 3 goes into 21 7 times. 7 times 3 is 21. Subtract, you get 0, bring down this one. 3 goes into 1, 0 times, and then bring down this one. 3 goes into 11, 3 times, 3 times 3 is 9. When you subtract, you get 2, bring down this one. 3 goes into 27, 7 times, and you get um, 21, subtract, you get 0. Okay. So, um, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 divided by 3 is 3, 7, 0, 3, 7. This has a problem because we want A, B, C, D, E. We want this number to be all different digits. As we can see, the 3 repeat and also the 7 repeat. So this is not the right choice. And this is not the right combination. Okay, so for this one, uh, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 divided by 4. Well, since the last two digits, 22, 22 is not divisible by 4. So I know this number is not divisible by 4. So I can get rid of this as well. And then for the next one, I have 6 threes. The last digit is not a 5, it's not a 0. So this number is not divisible by 5. So I can get rid of that as well. Alright, let me check this one. So let me see. Let me just see. I'll just decide. So I have 6 fourths divided by 6. Um, it's even and it's also divisible by 3. So it's divisible by 6. So let me do the um, division. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And divided by 6 on outside. Alright, 6 goes into 44 6 times. So 6 times 6 is 36. Subtract, get 8, bring down the 4. And as you can see that if you have an eight, if you have a six right here, right? This is too much. 
So technically, I should have put a seven, right? I should have put a seven instead of a six. Seven times six is forty-two. But, but, I need this two to be the same. I need this two to be the same digit, so I can rule this out as well. Okay, so let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. So for seven, it's weird that like there's no like a um, there's not a good rule to check if a number is divisible by seven. It's actually maybe it's easier to just divide rather than using any of the rules. So the fives, one, two, three, four, five, six, divided by seven. So I must have a seven right here, right? Seven times seven is forty-nine, so it works out. Fifty-five goes into um. Forty-nine. I mean, fifty-five subtract forty-nine is six. Bring down the five. Seven goes into sixty-five nine times. Nine times seven is sixty-three. Subtract, get two. Bring down the five. Seven goes into twenty-five three times. Three times seven is twenty-one. And subtract, get four. Bring down the five. Seven goes into forty-five six times. Six times seven is forty-two. And then we have the three. Bring down the five. Seven goes into thirty-five, five times. And thirty-five works out perfect. And check this out. When we have five five, when we have six fives divided by seven, it's equal to seven nine three six five. Right. So these digits are all different. And then we start off with the same digit. You divide by seven. You start with seven. So. This could be the only possibility, right? This could be the answer. I want to check if this two will work, okay? All right. So to check uh, this number, six six divided by eight. Six six divided by eight. Uh, let me see. What? Technically, I have to just check the last three digits to see if that's divisible by eight or not. But um. To check that, it's, it's kind of hard. Let me just divide. It. I have six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Divide by eight. Eight goes into sixty-six. Eight times eight times eight is sixty-four. And then when you subtract, you get twenty-six. And then eight goes into twenty-six. Three times three times eight is twenty-four. And then you get two right here. Bring down the six. Eight times twenty. A goes into twenty-six three times, but we see the three repeats already, right? So I don't want this to happen. I don't want any digit to repeat. This is not it. Last one, I have six eight divided by nine. Uh, let's check. How do we check if it's, this number is even divisible by nine? If you add all the digits, six eight produce um, forty-eight. Forty-eight is not divisible by nine. If the digit sum of a number is not divisible by nine, then the, this number itself is not divisible by nine. So we can also get rid of this. So as you can see, that the only possibility is when we do six fives divided by seven. And when we have six fives divided by seven, we get seven nine three six five, and satisfy the condition right here. So therefore, I found my answer. So. I want to have seven nine three six five. If I multiply that by seven, right, that's the A. And in fact, I will produce a six-digit number, right? And they are actually all fives, exactly the last digit. So just like how we wrote it right here, six-digit number, and these digits are actually just the last digit of the original number. So I get all fives. Feel good?